It is well known that China has emerged into the manufacturing center of the world over the past 30 years. However, little is known about how manufacturing activities are organized in China, and how this unique economic governance helps Chinese firms to catch up in the global competition. In this video abstract of Global Strategy Journal, we are going to shed light on these questions. Particularly, we are going to discuss how Chinese firms are utilizing a special type of agglomeration township cluster to engage in manufacturing activities and to catch up in the global competition. This video presentation is based on a recent study that is conducted by Liang Dingjia at Nanjing University, Sa Li Li at University of South Carolina, Steve Tolman at University of Richmond, and Ya Qingzheng at Nanjing University of Finance and Economics. The concept of cluster is not new, and has been well studied in economic and business research. However, most research has focused on high-tech clusters, such as Silicon Valley, or Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India. Little is known about other types of clusters, especially the township clusters in China. However, it doesn't mean Chinese township clusters are not important. Indeed, township clusters play an important role in the economic growth of China. For example, in year 2010, township clusters generated about $600 billion in GDP, which is about 10% of the total Chinese GDP in that year. Despite the importance, it remains mysterious how these township clusters have emerged and developed over the past 30 years, and whether they function differently from their counterparts in the other countries. To better illustrate how a township cluster may look like, we are going to share a video clip of one of the township clusters in our sample, Danyang, to give you some ideas of how these township clusters may look like. Zhao 由万新光学前身镇江眼镜总厂协助在镇江正式成立市场始于1986年建立了全国最早的专门用于眼镜交易的华阳、云阳两大市场过四十多年的整合与发展目前丹阳从事眼镜产业及相关配套的工贸企业
particularly we found, the level of competition in a cluster mediates the relationship between the cluster size and the cluster performance, and that the cluster's number of R&D centers and inter-firm collaborations positively affect the cluster's innovativeness, which in turn contributes to cluster performance. To better illustrate our findings, we convert some of our results into this importance performance matrix. We plot these five determinants of cluster performance, cluster R&D centers, intern firm joint actions, cluster innovativeness, intensity of competition, and the cluster size along the two dimensions of importance to cluster performance and the relative performance of clusters on each of the determinants. As you can see, cluster size has a highest score along the importance dimension, which implies cluster size is the most important factor determining cluster performance among all the five factors. On the other hand, along the performance dimension, cluster innovativeness has a lowest score, which implies on average clusters has relatively low scores on cluster innovativeness in comparison with all the other file factors. This diagram illustrates for Chinese township clusters, competition and agglomeration effects are still the most important factors in driving cluster performance. However, the collaborative forces such as R&D centers and inter-firm joint actions are not as critical as the competitive forces in determining cluster performance. To conclude, our study illustrates how Chinese manufacturing firms are clustered together and some of the most important factors in determining cluster performance, helping the Chinese township clusters to catch up in the global competition. Thank you for watching this video clip. If you want to learn more about this paper, please feel free to contact any of the authors. Thank you.